in 40 miles of Dragon Gate, there's always units. There is no point where if you start watching, everyone in the company is always going to be in the unit. I mean, maybe a month or two during like a shuffle, but that's not. These three are probably the three, I would say the three most like, you know, the early ones. You have Dragon Kid, who was kind of like the spiritual successor to Ultimate Dragon. You have Shima, who was a former Super J. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I am now deaf. <laughs> what? We just scared the room next door. Thank you. That hurt. The big concert was less personal. Speaker cast definitely. I like it. Super effective. The rain wasn't even that loud. Oh, yeah. Anthony. 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 Anyway, so we have Shima, who's probably the, as far as like an ace in the company, he's always been near the top. And right right now, he's the current open the GDH champion. He's also, I think, one half of the outside champion. No, no, in DGSA, they dropped him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they um, And Mochizuki Masaki, who's the original founder of M2K, he's still, again, a very big signable player in the company. So you have other early guys, but these are the three pillars of the first generation. In 2001, Toriyama 2000 Project came over from Mexico. This would be the next group of students who came over and ultimately decided to go in a totally different direction. If anyone remembers the six-sided ring with the PMA, they were actually using that years and years before that. Um, it was a very submission-based style. They called it a LAV. I, I don't even know if that means something in Spanish, but... Um, it was basically a much slower style than the typical Japanese junior heavyweight style. Uh, they had like a really, really hot feud with the actual format promotion where they run separate shows for about a year and eventually they would just start openly feuding with each other. And probably one of the best shows in Toyman history was a show where they had the Toyman ring and they had the T2P ring. Like side by side, like an old like, episode. Like, like WCW like, like, World War III. Yeah. Like, like, World, like World War III. And they would do a random draw for every match, decided it was going to be in the Tory Bond ring with T2P. But eventually, T2P did lose the final match and they got absorbed in the Tory Bond Japan. Fewer wrestlers who started with T2P remain with Dragon Gate, but there's still a couple notables. These are two of the biggest ones Naruki Go and Masato Yoshino, both were former Open the Gate champions. The final Tory Bond promotion was Tory Bond X. It was pretty much a complete bust. The first ace dropped out like weeks <coughs> of training and they kind of had to scramble. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Pro Wrestling Noah, but a junior mm -hmm. there, Taiji Ishimori, he came from, he was the ace of Toriyama X and it, he was just not popular at all. So it didn't, it didn't really work. <sighs> Only two of so like, the heel? No, no, he was the, baby, the top baby face. I don't know what, what he's really done with that, to be honest. Yeah, the yeah. Xbox team? Huh, um, <laughs> pretty much actually, yeah. They, the Japanese crowds, basically they had a boy band gimmick and they worked with that as the baby faces for some reason against the heels that were a salsa band, and the crowds loved the salsa band, they hated the boy band. Yeah, and they really did they they really like time making noise. Like, for example, Chris Jericho. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll for anything. Naomi Tanizaki and Kagator are the only two guys left in Toyman, from Toyman X, they're still in Dragon Game. So then Ultra Dragon went off on an ill-fated return to WWE in 2004. The wrestlers of Toyman Japan totally split off from his influence. They dropped the Toyman name, they changed it to Dragon Game, which is what Toyman means. So I mean, it wasn't really that big. Single it's translation. Yeah, it's a translation thing. But they dropped all the Spanish names of the shows, all the old title belts, and they declared all students to have graduated. The first year of the split was actually really rough because a lot of wrestlers started mm. leaving. There was a unit called Agan Izu, and it was the top heel unit at the time. Shuji Kondo, Brother Yashi, a bunch of those guys, and they all just had like a mass excess at the end of the year. So just basically the most had no heels. It was a very rude time. <coughs> so the rest of the Silver and Ultimo all left, and then they went about the process of rebuilding. To replace those who had left, Dragon Gate opened its own gym. So now the promotion came full circle. The students became the teachers. Several of Dragon Gate's current top names debuted as DG Troopers. So that's BB Hulk on the left, Shino Takagi on the right. Two of the more popular Trueborn. Zamato is a DG Trueborn, Akira Fuzawa is a DG Trueborn. So a lot of the top players now are, were trained after the Toyota split. 
In 2011, we had the Blood Warriors Junction 3 feud. It's a great year to watch the shows because for the first time in DV history, nearly the entire roster was split up in just two units. You had the heel Blood Warriors, you had the babyface Junction 3. So pretty much everything approaching was really easy to follow, and a lot of matches were really excellent. So we're going to watch from those matches right now. Those two units still around? 